Today as we speak, our citizenship as Nigerians, we cannot take it to the bank. We want to be put to our children a Nigerian citizenship that they can take to the bank. Otherwise, God will not forgive us. And when we talk about inefficiency in educational sector, health sector, political uh, sector, uh, governance and all, everything boils down to corruption. And corruption is not just about giving or taking money. Corruption is about not doing the right thing. And why are we corrupt? Because of lack of understanding. Because we do not understand that we don't need too much. Our wants may be too many, but our needs are very little. And I don't even envy corrupt people because they destroy themselves and destroy their children, generations unborn. And when we look at the way we behave, the way we behave to ourselves and to this country, Nigeria, for which we have no other country that we can call our own, it's all because of bad attitude. That attitude of the past and even the present that we are saying through rebranding, we must change. If we don't change, nothing will change. If we don't change, we will not be able to achieve Vision 2020 because it's human beings that will work to actualize Vision 2020. We will not get it from the air. Angels will not come down. Foreigners will not come here to fix Nigeria for us. They have their own countries to fix. So that change of attitude, which is a critical aspect of rebranding, we must embrace. If we don't embrace it, I'm sorry that uh, uh, we may not be uh, talking seriously. So rebranding is the key. Nigeria of my dream is a Nigeria that Nigeria's people will be so changed in their attitude that we will be in a position to tell the world who we are that we be in a position to define who we are. Because for too long, people have defined who we are. We need to evolve a Nigeria where we have a sense of pride for our country, where we will love one another, where we will appreciate what we have done and who we are. Right now, we are not even appreciating who we are. We are not appreciating what we have done. Look at Nigeria's role in West Africa through ECOMOG. We brought peace there. Central Africa, Congo, Darfur, and others. Nobody is talking about it. We lost lives. We lost resources. Go to the internet. It is United Nations. Yes, we are working under United Nations. But it's Nigeria through ECOMOG that performed the magic. Look at what we are doing all over Africa through the technical aid corps, sending professionals all over to help develop those countries. Nobody is talking about it. Look at what we did in South Africa during the dismantling of apartheid. Our people even gave up part of their salaries in the 70s and 80s to, to help in the struggle. Nobody is talking about it. We have beautiful stories to tell the global audience. And we have to, under the platform of rebranding, put ourselves in a position to lend our voice to say this is who we are, this is what we are doing, this is what we did. And in that way, we'll be able to evolve in Nigeria that people will have a sense of pride. I'm proud of Nigeria despite the challenges. I had a, an American green card, I gave it up. I'm not excited about it. If I was crazy about it, I would keep my green card and eventually qualify for citizenship. But I don't want it because I love this country with a passion. Without this country, there will not be me. With this country, this is me and the country has made